I first noticed symptoms of the disease when I was 12 years old. I just woke up one day and I was seeing two of everything until one day, um, just a few weeks prior to college, I woke up and literally couldn't move. And at that point, I realized, wow, something is definitely wrong. Paralysis spread into my legs and eventually into my upper body, uh, my wrist and my hands. Even after that, it took a while to get the diagnosis of neuromyelitis optica. It was uh, frustrating. I just wanted to figure out what it was, get a treatment and move on. And so I just made this critical decision that I don't want to sit around waiting um, to, get, to get fixed. And that's kind of been my attitude ever since. I met Cassie in a probably right after the Olympic Games in 2012. She is one of those fierce competitors. I started competing in cycling. Uh, I competed in track and field in the 2012 London Paralympics. I have world records in the 100 meter, the 200 meter, and the shot put, and I have an America's record in the discus. She is putting in the work and getting the job done every day even when it's difficult for her to do such. If uh, you're a person with a disability, you can see that you can be successful in both athletics and academics. She's a great candidate for that. I am the primary investigator of a lab that examines different neurological disease and injury. Her record speaks for herself. She's quite a productive researcher. She has always had an enthusiastic passion for her research and a drive to excel to a very high standard of excellence. She received the USA Today Academic All-American Award. She was uh, given a major award in her college, the Lohman Medal. And this year was given the Hall of Fame Award. Very deserving, youngest one we've ever had in either category. Her undergrads are very engaged and love what they do. I, I think they look up to her as not just a mentor, but as a role model. Dr. Mitchell really pushed me to be the best that I could be. I got lots of opportunities in Dr. Mitchell's lab that I never would have anywhere else at Georgia Tech, almost guaranteed. She has a way of bringing out the best performance in people. At Shepherd Center, I am on an athlete on several of their different sports teams, but I'm also a mentor, uh, and I mentor patients that have been paralyzed either to spinal cord injury or to other neurological disease. When I first realized I was going to be in a chair, it, uh, it devastated me to the point where I was put in um, psych ward. Cassie was like the first bright light, I mean, that I met. Right? Like the first time I smiled or was even happy about anything while I was there. She just gave you a, a thought process like there was hope after this. Even if you're in a chair, you can still do everything you want to do. When somebody's mom comes up to you and says, you're my son's angel, is like, wow, feedback like that makes you feel like that there's a purpose and a reason for everything. And despite all the bad that has happened with my disability, uh, I'm thankful that I'm able to make those kind of, of differences. The biggest reward for working as a disabled person is feeling that you are really contributing to society. I can't imagine, you know, if I wasn't working, uh, what I would be doing. And that's what Bobby Dodd is, is doing, of getting disabled people out into the workplace and showing that we can succeed in a number of different ways. She works hard every day to live. She works very hard every day to help people. She's my hero. I proudly display a sign in my office that says, never, never, never give up. That would be my takeaway and what I hope that I'm remembered for is that no matter what happens, I don't give up and that's what I encourage other people to do as well.